my channel Michelle Gay Science Teacher where it's all about science. Today we're going to look at matter, two states of matter, liquid and gas, and how liquid and gas react to heat energy which we call thermal energy. Heat energy is energy that moves. We have two main types of energy, potential, which is stored energy, and kinetic energy, which is energy in motion. Heat energy is energy that is in motion. We're going to observe how does heat energy affect the molecules of a liquid and a gas. Well, a liquid, when the molecules are moving, they move slowly and they bump against each other. As with the solid, solid molecules are tightly and they touch together which forms a solid object. With a gas, the molecules are moving again but because of the energy they move faster and they almost like disperse out in a gas. So we're looking at how does that heat energy, energy in motion, make those molecules move? I'm going to conduct two experiments, one on liquids and thermal energy, one on gas and thermal energy. Let's look at our first one. We're going to take some hot water And we want this water at boiling point. At the bottom of my cup, I put some marbles, and I'm going to keep those separated. And I'm going to cover the marbles with hot water. Now I'm going to insert another cup. This time, I'm going to add cold water. I'm going to fill it to the top. Now that we have our hot water at the bottom and the cold water at the top, we're going to add food color. And I want you to carefully look and observe what occurs. Notice the blue is at the bottom. At the bottom we have warm water now because of the hot water. And because of that, now if you look over here, the blue is coming back to the top. That is because we call this convection. We have cold water at the top, meaning that we have less energy moving. And because this cold is at the top, the food coloring is denser. And so it went to the bottom, floated to the bottom, and then because of the hot water, it began less dense and it rose back up because the cold became cooler so we have this cycle of cold going down to the bottom of the warm and coming back up to the cold and we call this convection. We're going to be looking at gas. 
This process of convection is when you think about your home. Have you ever observed that at the bottom of the floor is cooler compared to the area where the ceiling is, it's warmer. Well, that's what we're going to look at. How does convection affect gas? Gas, the air we breathe. Let's take a look. I have my thermometer and remember I told you that it's cooler at the bottom of your home near the floor compared to the top of the home. So I just took the temperature and it reads 79 degrees for the top. Let me check the floor. It reads 73 degrees. I'm going to measure the circumference, meaning all the way around. Whoops. Okay, I have 52 centimeters. Now I'm going to take the balloon and submerge it in this cold water. Before I do this, I do need to take the temperature of the water. It says 37 degrees, pretty cold. We're going to submerge it for one minute. I'll be back. All right, let's take another measurement. Drop my tape measure, let's see. Remember the first one was 51. Let's see if we have anything different. This time it's 52. It went up some. All right, now we're going to submerge it in the hot water. Let's see the temperature. This is 125. We're going to submerge it for a minute. All right, let's measure. Let's see what do we get this time. This time we have 54, 54. So it expanded, it got bigger because of the heat. Well, let's test again and see what happens in the cold. What do you think? Just looking at it, do you think it shrunk? Or did it get bigger? Guess what? It went back down to 51 and a half, 51 and a half, and one more time in the hot water for a minute. Okay, let's measure. Do you think it expand or did it shrink? It expanded again to 54 and a half centimeters. So, what does that tell us about heat energy? One, we know that the molecules are moving faster with the air inside the balloon when it is what? Hotter compared to when it's colder. And we can see this because the balloon expands. Anytime there's a solid, liquid, or gas and it is affected by heat energy, it expands. If it's affected by cold energy or cooler systems, it will contract. And so we have two processes looking at convection. One, remember we have convection where cool air goes down to warmer air and warmer air rises up. And then the second convection, 
cool air rises to the top and the warmer air moves down and then we have that cycle. Alright friends, I hope you enjoyed this video and getting to understand about how heat energy, which we call thermal energy, affects liquids and gases. Alright, see you next time. Have a wonderful day.